Writing is a powerful tool that can help us express our thoughts and emotions, and it can also be a therapeutic way to process and heal from challenging experiences. One unique way to harness the healing power of writing is through letter writing. Writing letters can be a cathartic way to release pent-up emotions, clarify our thoughts, and gain closure from past events or relationships. Whether it's writing a letter to someone who has hurt us, to a loved one who has passed away, or even to ourselves, the act of putting our feelings into words can be transformative. In this article, we'll explore how writing letters can help us move on from difficult situations, and we'll offer tips and prompts to get you started on your own letter writing journey. So grab a pen and paper, and let's begin the healing process through the power of words. The notion that writing can be a therapeutic tool is not a new one. In fact, it has been studied by psychologists and researchers for decades. A seminal study by psychologist James W. Pennebaker in the late 1980s found that writing about stressful or traumatic experiences can have significant health benefits. In his study, Pennebaker asked participants to write about their deepest emotions and thoughts surrounding a traumatic event for 20 minutes a day for four consecutive days. The results showed that those who wrote about their emotions experienced better physical health, fewer visits to the doctor, and improved immune function compared to those who did not write. So how does writing help with healing? According to Pennebaker, the act of writing about our emotions and experiences helps to organize our thoughts, make sense of our feelings, and process traumatic events. Additionally, writing can help to reduce stress and anxiety, improve mood, and even boost the immune system. In short, writing has the power to heal us both emotionally and physically. While there are many forms of writing that can be therapeutic, letter writing holds a special place. One of the benefits of writing letters for healing is that it provides a safe and private space to express our thoughts and feelings. Unlike talking to someone face to face, writing allows us to take our time, choose our words carefully, and express ourselves without fear of judgment or interruption. Another benefit of writing letters for healing is that it can help us gain closure, especially in situations where closure may not be possible in real life. For example, Writing a letter to someone who has passed away or to an ex-partner can help us express our feelings and gain a sense of closure, even if we never send the letter. Finally, writing letters for healing can help us gain perspective and clarity. When we write about our feelings and experiences, we are forced to confront them head-on and put them into words. This process can help us gain a deeper understanding of our emotions and provide a new perspective on challenging situations. There are many types of letters that can be written for healing, but some of the most common include unsent letters, forgiveness letters, and gratitude letters. Unsent letters are letters that are written to someone but never sent. These letters can be a powerful way to express our emotions and process difficult experiences. For example, if you're struggling with anger or resentment towards someone, writing an unsent letter can help you release those emotions in a safe and private way. Forgiveness letters are letters that are written to someone who has hurt us, with the goal of forgiving them and letting go of the pain and anger we may be holding on to. Forgiveness letters can be a difficult but transformative process, as they allow us to release negative emotions and move towards healing and acceptance. Gratitude letters are letters that are written to someone we are grateful for, to express our appreciation and thankfulness. While gratitude letters may not necessarily be written to process a difficult experience, they can still be a powerful tool for healing, as they help us focus on the positive aspects of our lives and relationships. Getting started with writing letters for healing can feel daunting, especially if you're not used to writing about your emotions. Here are some tips to help you get started. To get the most out of your letter writing experience, it's important to find a quiet and comfortable space where you won't be interrupted. This could be a quiet room in your home, a park, or a coffee shop. Writing letters for healing requires time and focus, so it's important to set aside dedicated time for the task. Whether it's 10 minutes a day or an hour a week, make sure to carve out time in your schedule to write. Decide what type of letter you want to write, unsent, forgiveness, or gratitude, and choose a specific topic or situation to write about. 
this will help you stay focused and make the most out of your writing session. Once you've found your space, set aside time, and chosen your topic, it's time to start writing. Don't worry about grammar or spelling, just focus on getting your thoughts and feelings down on paper. While there is no one-size-fits-all approach to writing healing letters, there are some tips that can help make the process more effective. When writing healing letters, it's important to be honest and authentic with yourself and your emotions. Don't hold back or censor yourself, let your true feelings come through. When writing healing letters, it's easy to get caught up in the details of the situation or the actions of the person you're writing to. However, it's important to focus on your feelings and how the situation has impacted you personally. To make your letter more impactful, try to use specific examples and details to illustrate your points. This will help the person reading the letter understand your perspective more clearly. Remember, the goal of writing healing letters is not necessarily to send them. While sending the letter can be a powerful act of closure, the act of writing the letter itself can be just as transformative. To give you an idea of what healing letters can look like, here are a few examples. Unsent letter to an ex-partner. Dear, Ming. I know we haven't spoken in a while, but there are some things I need to say. Our relationship was difficult and painful, but it was also full of love and joy. I miss you every day, but I know that we can never be together again. There are so many things I wish I could change about our relationship, but I know that's not possible. Instead, I'm writing this letter to release my feelings and gain closure. I forgive you for the pain you caused me, and I hope you can forgive me too. I wish you all the best in your life, and I hope you find the happiness and love you deserve. Sincerely, your name. Forgiveness letter to a parent. Dear, name. I've been holding on to so much anger and pain towards you for so long, and I know it's not healthy for either of us. I want to take this opportunity to forgive you and let go of the past. I know you did the best you could with what you had, and I'm grateful for the ways you supported me and loved me. However, there were also times when you hurt me deeply, and I've been carrying that pain with me for far too long. I want you to know that I forgive you for everything, and I hope we can move forward in a relationship with love and acceptance. Sincerely, your name. Gratitude letter to a friend. Dear, name. I just wanted to take a moment to express my gratitude for all that you've done for me. You've been there for me through thick and thin, and I can't imagine my life without you. Your kindness, compassion, and humor have brought so much joy into my life, and I'm grateful for the memories we've shared together. I hope you know how much you mean to me, and how much I appreciate all that you do. Thank you for being such an amazing friend. Love, your name. Deciding whether to share your healing letters with others can be a difficult decision. While sharing your letters can be a powerful act of vulnerability and connection, it's important to consider who you share them with and whether it's in your best interest. If you do choose to share your letters, Make sure it's with someone you trust and who will honor your feelings. Additionally, it's important to remember that you don't have to share your letters with anyone if you're not comfortable. While letter writing can be a powerful tool for healing, it's not the only form of writing that can be therapeutic. Other writing techniques that can help with healing include journaling, poetry, and creative writing. Journaling is a form of writing where you write about your thoughts, feelings, and experiences on a regular basis. This can be a helpful way to process your emotions and gain clarity on challenging situations. Poetry and creative writing can also be powerful tools for healing, as they allow us to express our emotions in a more creative and artistic way. Whether it's writing a short story or a poem, creative writing can help us tap into our creativity and find new ways of expressing ourselves. In conclusion, the act of writing can be a powerful tool for healing and moving on from difficult experiences. Whether it's writing letters, journaling, or creative writing, the act of putting our thoughts and emotions into words can be transformative. So the next time you're struggling with a difficult situation, try picking up a pen and paper and see how writing can help you heal.